The dirtiest, most dangerous job our hydromechanics do is actually pulling trash and debris from the river. And if you look behind me, there's obviously already been a lot pulled this year. It's one of the jobs that keeps our hydromechanics the busiest, especially during the spring when the river is running much high. And over the years, they have found a lot in the river. They've found obviously driftwood, they've found logs, they've even found old tires, they've found kayaks, they've found paddles, they've found shoes, you name it, they've seen it, they've found it. And it's the most important job that they can do because it helps keep our plants running the most efficient. Right now we're in springtime, um, so with springtime coming we start to get high flows of the river. Uh, what happens with high flows of the river is we start getting lots of debris that comes down and with that it causes what we call as drop. It basically clogs your system from running uh, smoothly through. The flow is kind of held back. Um, so what we'll be doing today is we have a foot of drop. Um, Kelly Shaw is going to be operating for us and then I will be the sawyer with the uh, chainsaw. Uh, basically what we have to do is we have to clean in front of the plant in order to get it out of the system that way it flows water through the unit smoothly so it's not holding anything back. Our mechanics say this is one of the most dangerous jobs they'll do because of equipment, the water, and of course the fact that they are dealing with nature which can be sometimes unpredictable. Because of the danger Tyler and Kelly put on their personal protective equipment or PPE They'll then conduct a safety tail war meeting to help go over the job details to hopefully eliminate any safety issues. Once the tail board is complete, Kelly and Tyler get to work and begin cleaning the rack. Okay. When you operate run-of-the-river plants, quality river flow is extremely important. Our turbines need about 7,000 cubic feet per second to produce close to capacity. This means our mechanics are spending a lot of time removing debris. You could be doing this all day long, so it really just depends on the day, but uh, I would say when it's really, really bad, you could be pulling out um, 10, 10 or so truckloads on a, on a daily basis for each plant. So you could do about 40 truckloads if you're doing five to 10, you know, it just depends on the day of how much going down river. That's, yeah, it's all between uh, roughly around springtime right now to, uh, I don't know, July, J July or so. That's when it starts slowing down because then your river starts to go down in flow and then you start to get the people that the time that you start to see people start to float the river is the time we stop kind of doing driftwood and we're just trying to clean it all out for the next season at that point. Down the river we head to Gem State. Not only is this the largest operating hydro facility for Idaho Falls Power, but it's also one of the biggest collectors of debris, which is why we find hydro mechanics Tom Havlicek and Patrick Staten also removing debris from the river. So you're going to use the controls today, is that right? Yes. This uh, trash rake is a berry trash rake. All these were built here on site by the uh, mechanics uh, all put together and welded the hydraulic systems put in um, they're a, a pretty simple unit uh, they have a telescoping uh, boom that goes down into the river and like I say this one goes about 45 to 50 feet uh, it pushes up against the racks with hydraulics and then pulls the debris out and then we can cut it up if it's too long to fit into our tray and then we dump the tray into our dump trucks and haul it off. Runs on uh, rails just like a, rail, a train would, uh, back and forth so we can go across the racks. Uh, it does have a, a toggle switch where we can raise and lower our tray that's got the uh, debris in it and dump it into the dump truck. Not only does removing debris help protect our hydro plants and keep them running efficiently, it adds the benefit of making the river cleaner for our community. Been very <laughs> helpful in keeping the river clean 
down then down below us they don't have to do with deal with so much debris there's a lot of canal head gates and stuff down stream and uh, it it's very helpful to them we pull all the driftwood out we're kind of uh, the last screen before it gets to them when we have all the debris and loaded into the truck we bring it over here in the dump truck and we put it into this large pit here and then like I said in January, February, whenever there's snow on the ground and it's safe to burn, we'll burn this pile. This was burnt in January and we've started to fill it again already. As you can see, our hydromechanics do an amazing job. And I bet next time you look at the river, you'll think of them and all they do to keep our plants running safely and efficiently, plus keeping the river clean.